boxing is there is no getting by just on talent. You need, um, I mean, you need talent. You need a combination of everything. But there is, I don't care who you are. If Floyd Mayweather didn't work hard, he wouldn't be Floyd Mayweather. He's one of the hardest working people in the sport. And um, if not, you know, the hardest, and he is the best one out. But it's um, boxing, everything, conditioning is everything in boxing. You get shaped by by training, by working hard, by eating right. It's a, it's a 24 hour job, you know. I hate when I see people like, Floyd made a hundred million dollars in, in 30 something minutes. He did, no, this is his whole life. It's 24 hours, he has to sleep right, he has to eat right, he has to make sure he doesn't get in trouble, he has to work out right. It, you know, if you break, you gotta break it down by 24 hours a day, that's, that's how much he made. Uh, he didn't make a million dollars every three seconds, like whatever they say, but it's, um, in, in boxing, working hard and, and staying motivated is, it's literally everything. Cause you always have to have that, you know, that fire in you, that, you know, that, um, that willpower. You know. it was a 10 round fight. I fought uh, for the WBC youth world title versus Josh Torres. He's my toughest opponent. I still think he's my toughest one to this day. It's a 10 round company. That's gratifying. So these guys show the vitality and sometimes... Boxing fans, after 10 rounds of action, we go to the judges' scorecards. Judge Frank Lombardi scores about 100 to 90, while judges John McKay and Tony Paolillo both score at 98 to 92, all for your winner. And the new WBC Youth Welterweight Champion, Arthur Dusty Harrison. So Dusty Harrison gets it done and captures the youth championship. The thing that helps me, you know, to keep boxing and, and stay motivated is that. Um, a lot of the kids, they, they look up to me and stuff in the neighborhood. Um, like if I go if I go in a nice section in D.C., with, if I go downtown or something, I don't really get stopped too much. But if I go to any of the rough sections or poor sections, I get stopped everywhere I go. If you want to take pictures of the autograph, you know, I like that better. I like the fact that people look up to me that, you know, they're struggling. That obviously that motivates them a little bit. I like being a role model for them. You know? I think that's the easiest thing is that if I stop with... I can't do that, you know, all the kids look up to me, especially at the gym and everything. A lot of the people that we have, especially some of them are in group homes, some of them, you know, we talk to them, they don't have places to sleep, they don't have, they don't know their family, stuff like that. They work out with me every single day, you would think they were getting ready for a championship fight themselves, but and I think that, I think that's what they appreciate the most is that I, I take the time to be right there with them. Remember I told you about bad check? That's him right there, right through a damn check all the time. That's East LA. We don't know his name. We just know where he's from. The one with the hat on is quick. That's a bald-headed Larry Bird right there. Let's go, y'all. I see Dusty in the next five, if you ask me really three years, um, with the way he's working, world champion at 147 pounds. 
which is the division where all you know that's you got Floyd Mayweather you got the Manny Pacquiao's you have uh, you know that's just the, the that's the division now that's that's bringing in a lot of attention um, a lot of people have said in the past that you hear in some interviews and sports guys just talk about how boxing is dead boxing is not dead boxing is 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 definitely thriving and, and it's moving and this and this kid right here has the potential to carry boxing to a whole nother level especially I really want to bring big fights back to DC. Um, we have a fighter, Lamar Peterson, who, who run a few here, and it was great. And I want my own. I would love to fight for a world title or have a, a you know, huge fight in DC because DC has been everything to me. They're a huge part of my success in uh, boxing. They, I could get on shows because I sold tickets. I got the fight in New York, my biggest fight that I talked about because they traveled. You know, I had a couple busloads come up from DC. Um, I mean, you ask a lot of boxers what their goal is in boxing. A lot of them say they want to be a world champion or you know they want to be the best, whatever. And people always look at me kind of crazy when I say that's not what I my goal is or anything. I want to be that type of fighter. I guess they call it you know kind of like the people's champion. And um, I think that means more to me than any belt is to be appreciated and loved by the people and be somebody that they can look up to. Be, uh, Dusty, Dusty's response, I guess, Dusty saying that he want to be, you know, the people's champion is just, again, Dusty. Um, you could say, you know, if Dusty had his way, you could save all the accolades, you could save all the belts. He just want, again, he, I, Dusty's, if I had to speak for Dusty, he, he probably does have other objectives and he wants to use the sport as a platform to, you know, accomplish such things. Dusty really, he's a, he's, He's a real caring guy. He's a real giving dude. I, I've seen the kid come in and, you know, we have other fighters in our gym that aren't as privileged as others, you know, whether it's financial, whatever it is. If Dusty has something and he knows that you don't have, he brings in, he provides. And that's one thing about that kid is that uh, I hope he, I, me personally, I hope he is able to, to continue to move up in the game, especially financially because there's a lot of things that I know he would give back um, to his community. These shoes that I know you, you can't see, but a lot of these shoes are here because he brings them in for kids who don't have, you know, shoes are worn out. They're, you know, they want to train and we're looking down, you know, they're busting open and, you know, the kid brings his own shoes and if, if you fit his size, he'll give them to you. And that's just the type of kid he is. And, that, and that's some of the qualities that and morals that his father has instilled in him. I got down on my knees one day and I accepted Jesus in my life and I never looked back. God has just changed my entire life, you know, I don't have to worry about those things no more. That's probably why I say right now, if Dusty were to quit boxing tomorrow, I'm fine. The my most proudest moments aren't that him winning, it's not of him graduating. It's not of him winning that WC World Youth title or that WC America title. It's, I, I'm in church. My wife is beside me, and Dusty's right there, and we're all kneeling down and we're praying. And I look to the side, and I'm thinking, that's probably my most happiest moment. You know, to know that your son believes in God and accepted Jesus in his life. So that, that to me, stuff like that means more than any of this boxing stuff. And now, from Madison Square Garden, New York City, for Rock Nation Sports and the debut of groundbreaking sports and entertainment, Ladies and gentlemen, uh, let's get ready to rumble! Ladies and gentlemen, courtesy of Rock Nation Sports here at Madison Square Garden, we go to the scorecards. Glenn Feldman and Alan Rubenstein both have it 100 to 90. Steve Weisfeld, 99 to 91. All three to the winner by unanimous decision. Still undefeated, Dusty Hernandez Harrison. So Dusty Hernandez Harrison. Improves to 25 and 0. Didn't get the knockout, but he got in 10 good rounds against a veteran. Yes, he did, and I think he's getting a belt. He's getting belted there by Rosie Perez. Not bad. 
<laughs> and let's go inside the ring and Angie Martinez. There it is. Wow, what an amazing night here in New York as we saw some great boxing plus a terrific performance by Fabulous. The hat was legendary. Uh, this is the first event of Throne Boxing was presented by Rock Nation Sports. There will be more incredible events coming in the near future. It was pretty bad, and, and then um, the people were bragging when we got murder capital. DC got murder capital a few years in a row. I don't know whether it was 500 murders a year or four or something. It was this, and I understand too because I've been there. I want to be that type of fighter. I guess they call it, you know, kind of like the people's champion. You know, I think that means more to me than any belt is to be appreciated and loved by the people and be somebody that they can look up to.